Hi, my name is Lincoln, and today is lesson 58. And again, we have to skip past science class because that was a Bill Nye video that I watched. And in history today, for lesson 58, I studied antiseptics. In the early 1800s, um... In the early 1800s, ha has uh, churches, uh, hospitals, and churches took babies in from troubled mothers who would kill their babies if it was a baby um, had out of wedlock. In 1693, the Vienna General Hospital was created, and it took babies in exchange for treatment by doctors in training. In this Vienna hospital, there was uh, two clinics, but one had a higher death rate for moms. Women begged to not have to go to the bad clinic. Some of the women chose to rather give birth in the street. This was a really bad reputation to have for a hospital, but um, most of these problems would be solved in 1847. How it was invented. Ignaz Semmelweis, born in 1818 in uh, Budapest, Hungary, and into a wealthy family of 12. And later in his career, he went into obstetrics, which is the hospitalization of pregnant women. While doing so, he was appointed, uh, appointed a high role at the Vienna General Hospital, and he noticed the problem of women dying in the first clinic. And Simon Weiss decided to solve it. Simon Weiss observed and recorded the difference, differences and similarities. The only difference was the people. In the higher mortality rate clinic, uh, there were inexperienced me medical students, but the better clinic had experienced midwives. So there was a breakthrough after his friend's death, his symptoms, which were similar to the um, dead mother's. And he may both have uh, midwives uh, to solve this problem. Moving on to English. Singular possessive nouns. Nouns. Possessive noun. A noun that shows ownership of something. To make a singular noun possessive, and add an apostrophe and an S to the end. Cat to cats. Example sentence. The big dog um, kept taking away the cat's toy ball. Vocabulary word for today is provide, which is a verb that means make available for use, supply, equip, or supply someone with some something useful or necessary. Now on to math. Subtracting with mixed numbers. And basically, it's... So, I have, like, a list of rules of adding with mixed numbers. Um, and basically, you do the same thing, but subtraction. And this is... It's very easy. It's a very easy concept. It's literally the same as adding um, with mixed numbers, but except you well do subtraction. It's hard to like. Well, it's easy to explain, but hard to explain at the same time. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for lesson fifty. Well, moving on to sixty-two.